Mr. Gelding himself, he's funny to say. His first was conceived in Kentucky, but born in New York in April 2000, so he's officially a New York bred. And he got off to a great start too for his trainer Barkley Tay and Ducky Jose Santos. He won his first, or he won all three of his races as a two-year-old in 2002. Then in the spring of 03, he ran very well in three derby prep races. He didn't win any of those, but did better each time. And he was peaking at the right time for the big race, the first yeah. second day. But he's like a perfect stalking trip in the derby. Grabbed the lead coming into the stretch. He laid his body down and wouldn't let anybody catch him. He powered to a length and three-quarter win over the big favorite Empire Maker and became the first gelding or castrated horse to win the Derby in 74 years. He's also the only New York bred so far to have ever won that race. And he was very popular as a Derby winner, especially because of his owners, who were small-time businessmen, but really just buddies, very fun-loving, laid-back, average guys that people could really relate to. And uh, Funny Side really became a sensation when he trounced the field in the Preakness Stakes by almost 10 lengths. So he had now impressively won the first two-thirds of the Triple Crown, and he headed home to New York for the Belmont Stakes, trying to become the first horse to sweep the Triple Crown at 25 years. A huge crowd turned out to see if the hometown hero could pull it off. Unfortunately, the track was very sloppy that day. It had rained all day long, and Funny Side hated sloppy tracks. He felt like he couldn't really get moving in it. And he was really not ready to go that marathon mile and a half distance. He was also, as I said, running his third grueling race in five weeks. Meanwhile, Empire Maker and Ten Most Wanted had lost the Derby and skipped the Preakness, so they were nice and fresh for the Belmont Stakes, whereas Funny Side didn't have that luxury. Those two were able to get by him in the last part of the Belmont, but this horse ran his heart out and finished a gallant third. He was named champion three-year-old at the end of the season, and the next four years, he continued to do his very best. He always loved a good fight. And he went out a winner in July 2007 with a stakes victory in his home state. But he signed the richest New York bread ever with three and a half million dollars. He came to the horse park in December 2008 to represent the Derby for us. And he's 12 years old now, 15.2 hands tall. Funny side is very ornery when he wants to be. He's not really a friendly horse, but he has a big personality and uh, he is uh, very interesting to work with. Once again, I've got a hand for the 120.